people, welcome to the Dr. Joy Show, your prescription for total wellness, and I'm your host, Dr. Joy. We have someone here that's my guest that is very famous that you have probably seen on TV. She is an actress, a life coach, and the creator and founder of Moda Size. Yeah, you don't know what it is yet. Well, maybe you do. But anyway, you're going to find out. But before we get started, you know what we do on the Dr. Joy Show. We take three deep breaths. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. How do you feel? I know I feel great. Sonia Satra, welcome Hello. to the Dr. Joy Show. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Sonia, uh, this is Sonia Satra. <laughs> you know it? She's been on the Guiding Light and One, One Life. Life to Live. Uh, Hello. Okay, and I know all of you have watched at least one of those or maybe both, right? <gasps> what did you play on One Life to Live? No, the Guiding Light. Well, Guiding Light, I played Lucy Cooper Spaulding. So I was married to Alan Michael. Okay. And uh, yeah, that was a really fun role. I came in as this real spitfire looking for my trust fund money for my dad. And then suddenly I just like became the victim of everything. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I ended up, of course, falling in love with one of the leading guys. And then he dumped me. And so I went with somebody else who was a really not nice person. But. Um, and was in a, a, a rape storyline, which was a very serious storyline, oh, yeah. um, which, you know, was actually probably one of my most moving moments on the entire um, soap was a letter I'd gotten during that storyline. And it was another young girl in college who had been raped at the same time my character had been raped and got help the same day my character got help. She's like, when you got help, I decided it was time for me to Wow. Get help. I know. So it's she powerful. Kind of, and how who would have known that that would have been her power of let go? Right? Oh, we're right. gonna talk yeah. about the power of let go. That's what this show is all about. So yes. what happened in One Life to Live? Who were you So I life? was the reverse in One Life to Live. I was a psycho killer. <laughs> oh, you were a psycho killer? I was just a little disturbed. I like to think of her. She was just a little disturbed. You were a little touched in the head. Just a little. You know, my dad had some issues. Might not have been the best dad. And my mom and died. Who, and and who so, was, what was your role? I was psycho nurse Barbara. Oh, oh, you were yes. a nurse. I was a nurse. Oh, gosh. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just fell in love with somebody and he didn't want me. So I just sort of kind of was killing people that were in my way. <laughs> Oh, just killing people that were in your way. Not something I advocate in real uh, life. Oh, okay. You know, that is soap opera territory only. Okay. Yeah. So so that's what you did before Motor Size. Now, how did you transfer from soap opera star to what you do now? Well, I guess it was a bit of a journey, as often these transitions are. Right. I was um, pregnant with my daughter and was sort of on a little bit of a hiatus just because there's not a whole lot of work for pregnant, pregnant people. Pregnant, <laughs> pregnant women. And so. Some, and I got yeah. some, but there wasn't a lot. So, And while I was off, I decided to get certified as a life coach. I had always had a life coach oh, going okay. through acting because I just... You know, as an actress, you get rejected a lot. Oh, always. You can't have that fear of rejection because no it is way. always a no. And oh, I call it no. And O spells new opportunity. Oh, I yeah. like that one. Yeah. I just have to borrow that. I'll give you credit. Yeah, that, but that's nice. I like it. <laughs> and it's so true. But I realized that really the people who had success in acting were the people that had the strongest mindset. That's right. Talent didn't always win. You mm -hmm. had to have a strong mindset. So I studied that as much as anything else. And I had a life coach before anyone even knew what a life coach was. Wow. And so, and I sort of became the go-to friend, you know, when people needed help or yeah. were down the dumps or yeah. whatever. So I just thought, well, maybe it'd be fun to actually have the official skills for it. And mm -hmm. so I got certified and uh, and then I sort of transitioned into speaking, um, learned that was a profession. And that oh, yes. was a, 
a neat bridge between acting and coaching. And then I started these women's empowerment adventures, much like what you and I. <laughs> the power uh, of letting go, which yes. is fabulous. Exactly. And that was a whole, all along, it's really been about mind-body. Mm -hmm. You know, even acting is mind-body. Mm -hmm. And as I learned more about that, not only from an actress, but also from the mindset perspective of how to get success ingrained and in, into your body. Right. Um, I, I just learned a lot about it. Coaching, I helped other people get it. The Empowerment Adventures was the same thing. Right. How do you link a mindset with something physical? Right. And then Moda Size was like the next generation of that where I put them together. Now, okay, Moda Size, and as I said before, two things. Yes, it's revolutionary. Mm, got it right that time. <laughs> right. Okay. So it's motivation and exercise truncated and put together. Exactly. Ooh! Wow. So now I read your background, so you can share a little bit about um, how you how you came to motorcycle. <laughs> so, I mean, in truth, it was really one day. I think it was a whole all of that experience yeah. leading up to it. But it was one day on the treadmill. It was early in the morning because that's usually when I'm at the gym. And I was just watching really depressing yeah. morning news, and I was just like, God, this. I just felt sad and angry and all of these emotions that were not positive and not helpful for the rest of my day. Mm -hmm. And I thought there's got to be a better way to exercise than this, you know, and wouldn't it be cool if you could think about a goal and visualize, you know, visualization is yes. something I use big time in acting, not only as an actress, but also to get jobs. Right. But I don't spend an hour a day visualizing things you I want. Explain, well, you want to explain visualization for the viewers? Yeah. Like, what is that? So it's really engaging in the vision and the emotion. That's one of the keys to visualization is okay. that you feel mm. what it is that you want, what it is that you're seeing, okay. and you get clarity around it. So you just ask all sorts of questions. What does it look like? Where am I? How does that feel? Who's around me? Get really specific on it and get those emotions into your body because the body doesn't know the difference between, between. what's imagined and what's real. That's right. It's why athletes use visualization yes. all the time. Yep. You know, we're coming up on the Olympics and oh, I'm so there's excited. so many Can't brilliant wait. stories of, of uh, athletes who, mm -hmm. I remember a diver who got injured like right before the Olympics and she spent three weeks just sitting on the diving board imagining and visualizing her dives and she ended up winning third place yeah. and she hadn't trained for a month before it. So that's the power of visualization and I used to do that around getting jobs. I remember visualizing this one job I've imagined having the ticket and walking down the runway of a plane mm -hmm. and getting on a plane and going somewhere. Right. I, didn't know, I didn't know where I was going, you know, right. but I just, I wanted to be on location where I had to fly somewhere for a job. That's all I knew. Okay. And so I kept imagining that. And a month later, mm -hmm. I, it was sort of a surreal moment because I was walking down the, 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 the run, you know, the right. thing of getting onto a plane. I'm like, this is exactly the jetway. What the jetway, thank you. <laughs> what I imagined. And so, and it happens time and time again. It happens so much that I'm annoyed at myself because, you know, you should just do it all the time. Because when you do it and you have feel it, and then take action. Mm -hmm. You've got to take well, action. Well, that's the other, that's the other you thing. You can't sit in your you, closet you and, and do just, it. And just yeah. imagine. And so is visualization also um, vision boards a component of that as well? Yeah. Because I know you do vision boards. I do vision boards <laughs> too, yeah. <laughs> I have one as well in, in, in my in my office that I look at every single day. It took me it took me like two and a half months to put it together. Yeah, it just sometimes takes me long, and you, you yeah. know, it doesn't have to take that long, but yeah, sometimes but, it does. And the but more I thought, enjoyed it yeah. though. Yeah, it is. It really makes you get specific about what you want. Right. And it's really fun and it's a really great learning process. I, I really recommend it, and it's crazy the kind of stuff that comes to fruition. Now, Exercise, motivation. So you have people that are motivational speakers. I mean, we're both in that category. Sure. And then you have folks that do exercise. We're both in that category. But you took it and put it together. How is that different from the other programs that's out there that exist? You know, it's really almost like having a life coach and a fitness program in one. Because you're really guided through a process. Okay. With questions that you have to answer 
around a goal. So the key to it is to come up with a goal, one thing that you really want. And then I ask you a whole lot of questions around it, like, well, what do you have? What do you need? What's stopping you? Let's burn some of that stuff. If you're, if there, if you're in a place where anything's possible, what are two action items that you could do? Visualize yourself doing those actions. So you're actually going through a whole process around a specific goal. When you leave, you just feel like, so I motivated. Can do it. Yeah, I can do it. You've seen it. You know it. You're empowered by all the things that you already have. Uh -huh. And you you have two specific action items to go off and do. And so So each person, so if you had ten people in a room, each person has their own goal, they have their own action items, but the questions are still the same absolutely. for each one. Wow. Yeah. Okay, mindset mindset reset. That's what you get. A mindset reset. You get ready, you get into action, and you really get the mindset to take off, to really to engage and, and get your success. So I read in your in your DVD, thank you very much, seven there's seven steps. Right. Okay, okay, so what are the seven steps? So those are part of the seven steps. So you first you want to step into the future. Mm -hmm. Because Again, let's step into imagining what it is. Let's get specific, let's get clear, and let's feel the emotions of already having done it. Okay. And then we step back, and then we look at what, we, what you have. And I actually think that's probably the most important question because, you know, you come to a challenge or a goal, the first thing most people do, including myself, is, yeah, but. You know, yeah, I really, really want this, but. yeah, but, yeah. right? Out of the time, the yeah. money, the this, I don't know anybody, it's yeah. hard. It's, you could come up with 10,000, yeah. yeah. you know, <laughs> reasons yeah. why this is going to be difficult. Even if you end up doing it, mm -hmm. you start from that place mm -hmm. of lack. Okay. And yet, we have so much, whether it be... Okay, we have a desire, you know, even if yeah. it's as simple as that. What resources do you have? Who do you know? Who do you know who might know somebody? What else do you have? You have experience. What kind of from your life can you but draw and take from that? You have to get rid of that fear of rejection, of asking for help. You have to be, you, you have to. Which is easier to do when you come from a more positive place. Exactly. When you're coming from this place of like, of lack and I can't, yeah. it's really hard to yeah, be proactive. Uh, yes. When you come from a place of more empowerment, mm -hmm. which is, all right, maybe I don't have everything and maybe it is still going to be challenging. But look at all the things I actually do have. I do have the knowledge. I do have a lot of knowledge. I have a lot of resources. I do have this. I could make the time if I reschedule things. Yeah, maybe I can get help. Day. All of a sudden, you come at it from a very different angle, a right. much more empowered place, and it really shifts often what you need and what your first action items are. Oh. And almost catapults you to another step. It makes forward. you step off that ledge. Oh, like it we totally did at the trapeze. puts you off that edge. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to show the viewers. Yes, I was, Dr. Joy was on a trapeze, yes. and I was flying, halfway <laughs> she flying. She was flying. But how has Moda Size helped others, or, or helped you and then helped others? Well, one of the, the greatest things, the other th thing, I don't, didn't even include that in the first part. When I, once I came up with this idea, I went to start to research it. Right. And what I found is when you exercise, there's a whole lot of brain science on this now, which mm -hmm. I know you know, right? When you exercise, a hormone and a protein is released in your brain yes. that creates new neural pathways. It's actually meditation and exercise are two of the foremost ways yes. of creating new brain cells and new brain connections. Mm -hmm. And it's an optimal time to create and to learn and to focus. So it's harnessing all of that optimal time in your brain mm -hmm. to create the life that you really want. Yes. And so what I've found with others is that people come up with the, just the most incredible things and ideas because they're accessing their inner intelligence. We all have the knowledge, we all have the power inside mm -hmm. us, but we cloud it with all those thoughts, all that noise. And then, so we need a positive vibration to actually lift up that cloud. And this kicks you into it automatically. There so you, you move out of that and you move into a deeper, more resourceful place. So people have started, they came up with new business ideas. Um, somebody used it actually for, they were in, the, in a huge negotiation for selling their company. They came up with mm -hmm. an entirely new strategy for mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and ended up selling it for, for a lot of money. 
many, many millions, mm, you know, down. like 50 million. Oh, that's a lot of money. A lot of money. So it was a huge turning point for them. Another person had a massive breakthrough. She, it was a, you know, tough coming in. She had uh, lost her daughter seven years prior oh, to a wow. brain cancer. Ooh. And um, she had really, she's, she's a huge advocate of trying to find a cure and, and keep her, you know, her child's memory, memory alive. But during the class, she realized she was hanging on to the pain mm. of what her daughter had experienced. Mm -hmm. And she's like, my daughter wouldn't want that. She doesn't want me to hang on to that pain. That's not serving anyone, not me, not her, not the cause. And she's like, by letting go of the pain of what she went through, I'm not, I'm not losing You're her, not forgetting, forgetting her. her. Right. I'm just moving on from something that actually is holding me and my whole family back. Mm -hmm. So she was just like in tears. She's like, I've been in therapy for seven years and it's here that I realized it was in the middle of this class wow. that it came to her. Those are two powerful stories. Huge. And thank, thank, you for sh yeah. thank you for sharing. Now, one thing I will tell you that's on the minds of many is they want to lose weight. Yes. So can Moda Size help them lose weight? Absolutely. So it's not the first thing that I, I mention because right. I feel like the mindset piece is so it's, much more beneficial. It is more beneficial. And when you're like heading towards what you really want and you feel really great and your mind is in the most optimal, productive, powerful, happy place. Right. All of those other food You have blinders things. on. You have blinders on. You're focused, well, right? Well, and so often we eat and overeat and emotional yes. eat because parts of our life are unhappy. So when you start to actually take care of the parts of your life that you want to improve, right. the other stuff starts to take care of itself. With that said, this is a cardio. It's a 37 to 40 minute cardio exercise. You are burning lots of calories. And we're gonna do some of it here. As a matter of fact, can we do it? Can of we course do it? we can All right, do it. So we have, can we do something in like 10 minutes and then, then we have to sure, wrap up? Sure, we will do a sample of 10 minutes. So, okay. Um, yeah, All absolutely. Right. So what do we do? So. Okay, so viewers, get ready. Stand up. All right, this is the reason why you see Dr. Joy and Sonia in workout gear. This is right, because we're actually going to so, work out. <laughs> so go hurry up and put on some sneakers and shorts and a t-shirt and come back really quick. And you're going to we're going to do us, it. Right? And even if you don't have the shorts and the other stuff, stand up and do it anyway, because go through the mindset process yes. and do a modified version. It's okay. Yeah. You'll still get benefit, both cardio and you'll also get the mindset piece. Let's go. All right. All right. So let's so, stand up. So, so are you going to play along with me? You're going to be my, my I, person? I am going to be. A, so I'm that means you need to choose a goal. Because uh, that's the first part. you got to have a goal. I have a goal. You have a ton yeah, of goals. I have a ton of goals. but they Choose one. One? One that makes you feel good. One that you actually really want. Like, oh. I had somebody do this and they're like, well, I really want to no, make sure. No, no, no. And my viewers will know this. Yeah. I want to be on OWN. I want a syndicated show. Nice. Either on OWN or some other major network. I think Oprah needs me though. But <laughs> I'm just saying it. So, hey, you got to put it into the universe, right? Of course right? you do. Okay, so that's what I want. OWN. Um, okay, OWN television show. Okay, right. so that's perfect. So. We are going to start with All right, so we stepping. Face that way. We'll, st we'll face oh, yeah, this way, we'll okay? Face that yeah. Okay. So we want to start by stepping into the future. Okay. You're already on it. Okay. All right. That's nice. I like that. Okay. okay. See, okay. look at how she already changed. I like She's that. like, of uh, course, yeah, I'm on it. Your I'm body up. changed yeah. everything, right? <laughs> yes, it. See, how, what would happen if you went through your day like that? Mm. Just saying. Okay. So we're going to start with just what I call a victory oh. jump. So we're going to jump up, and then step back, and then the opposite foot. And this is really victory. Like, you did it. Yay! What would you be doing if you just got that? You had your show. Oh, my Woo God. If I got that contract? Yes. Uh, I'd probably jump a lot higher. Yes. Oh, well, yes. let's jump. Yes. yes. Jump as high as you would if you got th you're on that show. All How right. do you feel about yourself? Oh, wonderful. How do you feel about making other people? Yes. <laughs> what else do you feel? Ooh. Um, I actually, I'm humble, too, because nice. I, I look at my journey and as to getting there cool. you know awesome we'll take that in two more okay and last one all right so now we're gonna do some jump catches so we're gonna jump and squat and jump and squat. so like dream catches i no, call jump, them jump, jump catches. catches okay and when we're jumping up we're gonna catch all the things that have come to us Ooh. as a result of being on that show Oh, wow. Because okay. you're on it, right? Yeah, I'm on it. You're in it. You're on it. You're on it. Okay, okay so let's, let's catch. What do you catch it? One. 
And another one. What do you Ooh. catch? Oh, what am I catching? I'm catching a lot of things. I'm meeting different people. Yes. I'm making contact. Yes. For other people. Yes. Right? I'm empowering others. Yes. Uplifting others. Yes. Increase positive significance in others. Awesome. Ooh. I think what I'm else do you catch it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch out. Two okay. more. Two more. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe some gonna... extra cash. <laughs> oh yeah, well cash. Maybe yeah. even a better life for you. Probably and uh, other people too. And other people. Maybe you're saving lives. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good job. So you yes. get that. All right. So now we sort of stepped into feeling what it feels like to have done it. We okay. would do that longer, but you really want to get into your body. Wow. Now we're going to step back and take okay. a look. What do you already have what do I to make have? that goal happen? Well, I have experience with Good. being so on the Dr. Joy show. Of course you do. Okay, so we're going to do these side-to-side -side catches. Okay. Knee grabs. Okay. okay. And as you're pulling in your knee, All right. think of what you have. What do I have? So you have experience. I have my health. Yeah. Oh. Well, big time. Yeah, big time. I have that first. Good. I have the support of my husband. Nice. And my my immediate family. Good. And some of some some really good friends. Yeah. Right. I have experience being on television. Great. <laughs> you know, right. I got balance. Now, good no, job. No, I, I lost my balance, but that's okay. People you got need, it back. I got it back. People that's need it. To see that you're not always on balance, and of that course. you can always get it back. That's the beauty right? of balance, is that we're always trying to find it. So, great. Okay, good. So now we're going to go into a jumping rope. Oh. Okay, um, you're not going to fall here, no, right? No, I don't want to fall, but Okay. Just, <laughs> you said it's a jump rope. Okay. Okay, Ooh. so what else are you roping in that you have that you could use to make this goal happen? What uh, else do you have? I got longevity. Yeah. Uh, I got my health again. Good. Faith. Nice. Positive spirit. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You have a couple contacts? Yeah, I got some contacts. Yeah. I'm working them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I have experience. I have my health. I'm going to keep, I'm just going to see, keep saying that. Health, nice. You have a gratitude. vision? I do have a vision. Very That's clear. That's on my vision board. <laughs> I see it every nice. day. Excellent. Okay. Good job. All Woo. right. So how it feels good to think of all oh the things you already have, God. right? Yeah, Sonia, that thing would be orgasmic if I <laughs> <laughs> when it happens. I'm just saying. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's now look at what you need. All okay. right, so you got all this, you got that great feeling. <laughs> you know what you have, and you have right? a lot, and you have a million more things. But right. now let's take a look at maybe a couple things that you still need. Need. So we're gonna put one foot forward. Yeah. One foot back. Yeah. Put that goal, put that vision. There's that own team. Dr. Joy, I know. Right. Whatever, All right. Whatever the title is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you're going to be running towards it. Oh, man. Keeping your core tight. Right. Okay. And so, what do as I you're need? standing here ready to take off and go to that finish line, oh. what's one thing that comes to you that you need? A uh, major contact. Okay, a major I need contact. Her, I need for her to see my reel. Okay. Uh oh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you need first your real. Yes. You need a major contact. What else do you need? Uh, one more. Uh, one more. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think that I need right now. Those two things. Okay, cool. So then we're going to go down to, to lunge grab downs, if you can. Okay. I'm going to so move over can, to the side. Okay. If you can jump it, you can jump it, or you can just do a modified. <laughs> but there. What else might you need to pull in? <laughs> To make that happen. Mm. What else? You just pull it in from the universe. Fortitude. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, what else are you pulling in? Tenacity. Yes. Woohoo. Uh, let's see. What else? More contacts. Okay. So the right contacts. So you're pulling in the that right, right contact. The right see team. that contact. The right team members. Nice. Team members. Good. Yes. All right. Good. Two more. Sleep. Good. You need that. Health. Keep that health going. Health and sleep. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Wow. Good. So you can like that. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so you're I'm already inside. setting it in motion. Uh huh. You're putting a lot of energy out there to make this happen, and you're coming up with thoughts and ideas. So how much time we got? Uh, two minutes. Uh, we'll do one quick. Okay. Uh, and then we'll get to it. Do we have two minutes to do two more things? Two minutes to do two more things. 
Uh, actually, we're going to do this instead. We're okay. going to move straight to uh, actions. Okay. Straight Normally to action. here, we would get rid of stuff. We would look at what's stopping you. And then oh, we that's would... good. We can do that. Okay. So I'm we're going to do some prisoner stops. Oh, prisoner stops. Squat. Oh. So you're going down here and jumping jacks. Uh. So what's uh. holding your prison? Um. What's keeping you back? Well, it was the fear of rejection, but I don't have that anymore. Good. Because I'm asking for what I need. I think I need. Yeah. I'm not afraid to go out and meet new people. Good. And talk to so them. So what's stopping you? What other junk is in the way? Uh, One more thing. I don't know. I need, to, I need to get in front of the right people. That's so it. So what might be stopping you from doing that right today? Mm -hmm. Lack of exposure, probably. Okay. All right. So... There might be a few more fears in there. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so here we want to dump them. Any of those fears, you want to imagine a big fire. Oh. We're going to burn those things. Yeah? Because nice. they're not serving us. We, didn't, we weren't born with that, right? Right. Somewhere along the line, we've convinced ourselves we have that. So we're going to burn it and burn. Okay. And then replace it. Okay. Right now, you got to believe you don't have the right people in Right now, you don't right know. Right now, they're not. They're still coming. I just don't know where they are yet. There you go. There's okay. It. <laughs> right. So let's burn. Let's burn anything that. that's stopping you. Uh, burn. Okay. Any fear, any leftover residual. Oh, burn. burn. Uh, let's see. Oh, the fear of the whole age thing. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, because you know. Burn it. Hollywood. Burn it. The fear <laughs> of the race thing. Burn it. The fear <laughs> of. Asking people for help. Oh, Ooh. good one. Burn that nice. one. Uh, nice. Well, one last one. Oh, one last one. The fear of being healthy enough to achieve it. Okay, the fear that you won't be. Won't burn be. it. Won't, won't be, won't be right. healthy enough. So we want to see that in fire. Real bye bye, burn, burn. They're gone. <laughs> so real fast. Okay. Let's go down into this. Uh, Squat. I don't want to. All right, okay. so they're burned. They're gone. Yeah. Light. If anything's possible. Ooh. One action you're going to take today to make that goal happen. Oh. One action. You mean to make the end goal happen? Yep. One action you can take today. Keep going. So what does that mean? <laughs> that Specific. Means specifically? Who are you going to contact? What's one thing you can do today to really well, I'll contact, be bold? I'll, be, I'll contact my manager and tell her, get on it. I mean, really get on it. Okay. Right? Because I have a new manager. Do you have somebody she can contact? Do you even know? She knows someone, but she's waiting for information from me, so I have to give her that information. Ah, good. <laughs> All right. So I have to contact her and give her the information. Yes, she needs a piece of info from okay, me. Okay, and then we're gonna climb the ladder. Yes. Okay. And you're gonna see yourself doing it. Oh. You got the information. Right. You're putting it together. Yep. You're calling her up. Yep. Yep. Here you go. Here's your information. Here you go. It's always there. <laughs> Three, two. One. Woo. Nice. Woo. Oh my awesome. gosh. That was awesome. And then at the end, we go into some boxing, oh. do some affirmations. Here, we'll do one. Okay. So, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. One more. I can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it. Oh, Sonia, thank you so much. Now, I got one little question for you. Yes. Besides, how can people find you and get a copy of this Motor Size? Oh my God, revolutionary! Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah, it's uh, it's on the website motorsize.com. It's also on Amazon. You can also download it if you don't want the DVD, and it comes with a workbook. It's got a whole workbook that will really help you get unstuck and unleash ideas that you never thought you had, so that you're really set up for success. All right, all so, right. Motorsize.com, and and then we're also on Twitter and Instagram and. Facebook and you know, follow all those her. places. I'm following her. She's great. The Power of Let Go was the best <laughs> workshop that I've attended in a long, long time. And my one last question, you know I'm going to ask for those yes. guiding light people out there and one life to live. Are you working on anything else? Oh, I do. I can't talk about it yet, That's but okay. I have a, a actually pretty big project coming up. It's going to be a, a, a huge part on a mini series and it's a very prestigious iconic woman that I'm playing so stay tuned wow. and let's do that I can do, do it. it I can do it I can do it yes, yes. <laughs> okay until next time you guys you're beautiful be blessed stay healthy see ya and you can do it nice yeah, that was good <laughs>